What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to talk about tips for brand new property and casualty insurance agents. Maybe you've stumbled across this video because you are getting started in studying for the property and casualty insurance exam. Maybe you already work for an office or maybe someday you want to start your own office. In this video, it should help you with tips and what you can expect, especially if you're brand spanking new and just a beginner. I do want to say that you are in the right industry. There's not very many industries where you can just get a simple license and have the opportunity to make six figures and more uh, without a degree, without college, without anything. And this industry is something that I've become very, very passionate about. Uh, I started my insurance agency five years ago. We have scaled uh, to over three offices, about $10 million in agency premium, and we're just getting started. I like to share and document my journey. So I really hope that you get some value from this video. And again, if your brand's making new, this is the video for you. So if this is your first time tuning in, do me a favor and destroy the like button if you get some value. Subscribe for all things entrepreneurship, self-development, and insurance, and follow me on my social media platforms. Let's get started. The first thing that you should know is that your knowledge or score on the exam is going to have very little to do with your success in this industry. Your success in this industry is going to come down to your drive, it's going to come down to your how coachable you are, and it's going to come down to how resourceful you're going to be in this industry. Let me break those down and explain that a little bit more in detail. Okay, why do I say drive? Because you need to be driven to be successful in any industry, right? Whether you're getting into the NBA or maybe the NFL or you want to be you know, a music artist or anything, it's gonna require drive. Why do you need drive? Because the going is going to get tough. Things are gonna come up. It is gonna get hard. It's not gonna be as easy as you think it is and you're gonna need to be able to be driven and, and very, very just self motivated to be able to be successful in this. And it's kind of like school. If you think about college, right? If you think about, you know, me, you just use me for example. I got my business degree, business management, and I didn't necessarily need that degree, my bachelor's degree, to be able to be successful in this industry. I just didn't. Um, you know, there's a difference between learning about business in theory and then use and then being in business. It's a completely different ball game. And so the same thing is with the insurance industry is you can learn about it in theory. You can get 100% on this test, but that's not going to guarantee your success in this industry. Your success is going to be contingent on how driven you are, how coachable you are. Uh, being coachable means that you are open to feedback. You are open to learning and you don't have it all figured out and you're willing to learn from the best. Okay, you're willing to learn from your leader and the person that's teaching you how to be successful in this. And the last thing is how resourceful are you going to be? Being resourceful is arguably the number one resource to being successful. It's not a matter of the resources that you have, but how resourceful you can be. And in this industry, you're going to have to figure out a way to make a way for you to be successful in this industry. You're going to have to get resourceful, you know, contact all your friends for insurance quotes. You're going to have to post on social media. You're going to have to figure out a way to make it happen. And, uh, and so that's what I would say is being driven, being coachable and being resourceful will make you successful in this industry. The second thing is you're going to have to master the game of sales. Okay. This is sales. And although, you know, yes, everybody needs insurance. And so that make that to me makes this industry the best industry to be in because by law, you have you can't drive without car insurance. And if you have a loan on a home, then you are required to have home insurance. And because of those two things, this industry and the fact that everybody's likely driving and a lot of people own homes that this industry isn't going to be affected when, you know, when the things that happened in 2020 happen. Obviously, we're still kind of going through some of those uh, challenges today, but this is a pretty bulletproof industry. And when you're in sales, you know, you're going to have to master the game of sales. And what better product than one like insurance where you know that everybody needs it, like everybody needs your service, your product. And so 
understand that in this industry, you're gonna have to master sales. And there is a lot to mastering sales. Now, you can be a successful salesperson, and if you have the skills, you can be successful in any industry. It doesn't matter what product you sell, but that's why I'm telling you that you're gonna have to master sales. There is, sales is just a bunch of skills that you can learn, just like anything, like playing the piano, you can learn how to become successful in sales. And insurance industry, property and casualty is no different. You know, whether you're on the service side or the sales side or running an agency, you're gonna have to master the game of sales. It doesn't stop with just selling insurance policies because if you wanna open up your own agency someday, you're gonna have to sell your team on your vision. Why should people come work for you? What is it about you, your specifically, you specifically, the opportunity that you're presenting that would make people wanna come work with you? And so, master the game of sales. On the service side, you're gonna to have to cross sell, okay? You're gonna to have to identify opportunities, convince people to stay with your insurance agency, right? That requires mastering the game of sales. And so, there is an art, it is a skill that all of us can learn, so make sure that you uh, know that going into this industry. Number three, and you guys, if you guys have been on my channel, you know what I talk about this all the time. Get ready to build a personal brand, okay? Because in 2022 and beyond, social media is no longer, um, no longer uh, optional. You almost have to have it uh, if you want to be successful. And it's not, um, it's not like do or die. Like you can go and become successful without it. But it certainly is going to help if you have social media and you're building a good brand and you're networking. Because I will tell you that people go and do business with people that they know and the people that they like and the people that are in their face and constantly reminded that this is the product that they sell that this is the product that they offer. And I could tell you guys on numerous occasions where me and friends that also own insurance agencies have, uh, have had mutual friends, meaning we have the same friends, but they have decided to go and do business with me. And then we joke about it. They're like, what the heck? I wonder why they didn't call me. And I know why they didn't call them. It's because I'm in their face. If they follow me on social media, if they follow me on Instagram, they follow me on Facebook, they're gonna see me constantly promoting myself, constantly documenting my journey. So of course they're gonna reach out to me. I'm front of mind. And so that's what I mean by get ready to build your personal brand. Document your journey. If you're just studying for the exam, then document, hey guys, I'm studying for my property and casualty insurance exam. Soon I'll be able to help you with all of your insurance needs. Uh, I'm excited for this journey, bow, right? And then you pass the test, I would document and promote that I'm about to, you know, that I just passed my PNC exam. Guys, I'm super excited. I'm gonna be able to help you very, very soon. And then boom, next thing you know, you're in a, you're in a polo of your company, representing your company. And now people have been following your story. Now they're gonna to wanna to do business with you, right? It's the same reason why people watch reality TV, the Kardashians, things like that. People love the story. People love supporting um, your story and they love the underdog. And, and so you just gotta uh, promote yourself in a way that's not salesy, just document your journey. And so that's what I mean by make sure you're networking, make sure you're building a personal brand because it will serve you years down the line. And my final tip for all you beginners is, look, this isn't gonna happen overnight. This is a process, this is a journey. Uh, however, you are going to have to demonstrate your potential within 90 days. Why do I say that, okay? When I bring somebody onto my team, within the first 90 days, I am looking at their every move. I'm looking at their every sale. I'm looking at their every, you know, did they call in a lot? Were they late? You know, did they stay after a couple times? Did they demonstrate their potential, their positive attitude, how driven they are? Did they demonstrate that in their 90 days? And so I tell you this, because if you're a beginner, it, just know it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time to get to an elite level where you're making tons of money. But, you know, be patient with that. However, be sure to demonstrate your potential within 90 days because if you don't demonstrate that potential, you're not gonna get that opportunity and you're gonna have to start over, right? And so just know that this is gonna take time if you can, right? It's, you're not gonna learn everything just between the hours of 8.30 to 5.30 or eight to five or nine to six, right? 
If you're just building, working on your self-development or your abilities and your skills just between work hours, you're not gonna be successful or it's gonna take you way longer to get there. So what I'm encouraging is exactly what you're doing right now, right? You're seeking mentorship, you're seeking uh, expertise, you're seeking people that are doing it and you're improving your skills. So I commend you for that because it's gonna take a lot of this on your own time to become successful, okay? I was plenty of times in my, uh, in my you know, young career where I was delivering pizzas right and listening to sales CDs, leadership CDs um, on my way up. And I was constantly sharpening my tools, sharpening my self-development. So that way when I was presented with this opportunity, I was able to skyrocket. And, and these last five years are no surprise to me. I knew all this would happen, um, our success in the insurance industry. And so just know that it's gonna take time, but be patiently aggressive, if that makes sense. So look guys, if you've uh, stuck through this long, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Um, I will be coming out with a couple of courses in the near future to help you guys, to further help you guys with your uh, insurance journey, whether that's opening an agency, your own, or working within an agency. And I'm very much looking forward to that. If you want additional coaching and training, be sure to get with Craig Wiggins Coaching. Use my discount code in the, uh, in the bio and you will get a discount on your very first month for additional coaching and training. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.